Right, so this week's match blog. I fished uh, Partridge on Tuesday and Thursday for the open match. I fished the Wednesday Fishermania qualifier at Tunnel Barn. And also I've been to the Oaks over the weekend. Saturday was the Fishermania qualifier. And Sunday was the open match, which has been on the New Lakes. So first match to talk about is Tuesday at Partridge. And Nelly's drew me a terrible peg, to be honest, 161, which has carried on my theme from the week before of some bad pegs at Partridge, but still got to go to your peg and see what you can catch out the peg. So 161's in a bit of a um, small little section at the back of the lake, and it's not normally great for, you know, many bites. And when I spoke to Nelly, actually, the section has started at 149, so I've had some good pegs in my section to me right, and I thought it was going to be difficult to do well. But one thing I've been trying to work on at the minute trying to work out a method that's working because it has been quite funny at Partridge at the minute and it's been hard to try and work out what's going on so I still wanted to go to my peg and try a few things out so I've just gone and tried to fish with ground bait and maggots it was a little bit cooler so I didn't feel like worms was going to be the way to go and I've just gone and fished with ground bait and maggots across and in the edges and then I threw some maggots down the middle and as it's turned out I've struggled for a lot of the match I didn't really catch anything across I've nicked an odd fish down my right hand edge. I've nicked, nicked one fish down my left and I weren't really going anywhere. But then last hour, they've actually come down the middle in the deep water, which is one place that hasn't really been working the last few weeks at Partridge. So that was quite interesting. And you could tell that maybe with it going a bit cooler, that then fish were starting to drop down the middles. So that was something I was going to sort of take into my next few matches. I ended up that day with about 20 fish and they've gone 41 pound which was no good on the day, but I beat everyone else around me in that little bit area of the lake. So I felt like, even though I hadn't done very good, I still had a decent match from the area that I was on. So reasonably happy with that. A uh, bit frustrating to a drew a peg where I felt like I didn't even have a chance of winning my section, but that's just the way it goes at the minute. It's luck of the draw and, you know, you need to be on the fish. So I still had an enjoyable day. The next match to talk about was Wednesday's Fishermania qualifier at Tunnel Barn. And I actually drew a really nice peg, peg 19 on new and I had the wind coming in towards me. And as you'll be able to see on the video, it's a nice open water peg. So that really suited what I thought I wanted to do after the day before catching everything in the deep water at Partridge. I thought a nice open water peg just simplified my match. I had a couple of lines in the deep water and speaking to all the locals and people who'd been there having a practice, meat was gonna be the key bait. So I just thought I'll have a nice simple match, two short lines with meat, and I've fed a bit of ground bait and maggots in my right edge where it was nice and shallow. I thought maybe I'd catch a few down there. But after the day before, I weren't convinced that any fish would come in the shallow water. And as it's turned out, I've had a nice match. I've caught quite well early on, catching a few carp, just potting in a little bit of meat, sitting and being patient, waiting five or six minutes for a bite. But when you caught one, it'd be a good fish. I've had sort of six carp in the first hour and two or three F1s for sort of £35 including a lovely big ghosty of around £13, pounds. so that was a lovely bonus. Um, and I was doing really well early. And then for the rest of the match, I've just ticked along, catching an odd F1. And I was just hoping that late on, it could have got better and I might have had a really good run short. But as it's turned out, it's just sort of ticked along nicely through the match. Never really got going. But I've ended up with, I think I had 36 F1s and 6 carp for £108, which won the new pull, so really happy with that, and come fourth overall in the match. So really happy with that. Don't think I could have done much better than fourth in, you know, winning the lake, coming fourth in the match. Felt like I'd fished a good match, and I'd learned obviously from the day before, that deep water, and I think taking it into the rest of the week then, fishing the deep water is gonna be the key. Overall on the day, one of my good mates, Jordan Holloway, managed to win the match, so buzzing for him, he's had £144 on 22 extension, which is actually a peg that I qualified for the match this off last year, so the year before, so real good peg for us, um, seems to be a good peg, and I was buzzing to see Jordan, hopefully he'll go on and win the final, so uh, well done mate. The next match I want to talk about is Thursday's match at Partridge. And now I was hoping after drawing 161 on uh, Tuesday, it couldn't get any worse than that. And Nelly's managed to draw me peg 78 on late four, which isn't a great area again. I've had the wind smack off me back and I thought that I was going to struggle for some bites. So what, one other thing what I want to talk about actually from Tuesday's match actually was quite a few 
people were mentioning hard pellets in deeper water, sort of like three foot across, three foot in the edge on hard pellets. So I did actually take a few hard pellets with me this day. And then I also was going to feed down the middle with maggots. And I was going to pot again some ground bait in the shallow water just in case some fish decided to come in. And as it's turned out, I've really struggled for a bite. I've caught very little through the match. I've just been going everywhere, just trying to get a bite. And I've literally, with sort of hour and a half to go, I'd got four little stocky F1s and a big black clouds come over and it looked like it was going to start to rain. And speaking to some uh, Steve Parry on the phone, he rang me and said it was a hailing where he was. And I thought, that's it, it's time to pack up before I got wet. So I actually packed up and got home. But um really struggled that day couldn't really catch a lot and i just think i just wasn't on any fish so quickly pass through that one and go on to the next match which was on saturday at the oaks on the fisher mania and i've drew peg 12 on beach which is one out of a corner on one of the new lakes and because i don't really know the venue i was reasonably optimistic i got told obviously the new lakes were solid with fish so i just thought i'd have a lovely day's fishing so Going based on what people were telling me, maggots and meat were the main two baits. So that's what was going to be my main attack. And I've also set up a mugging rig as well in case there was some fish swimming about to flick at. So start off of the match, I decided just to have a mug because I could see some fish swimming about. But they were a nightmare to catch. I could see them everywhere. And I think we were all the same in that little area. There's fish everywhere. And we were all flicking at them. And it was noticeable after like half an hour, we've all got like one fish each in Compared to how many fish we could see to be mugged, you'd think we'd be able to catch loads, but it just wasn't like that. The fish just weren't interested in feeding at all. Um, and that's just been, in our little area, the theme. We've really struggled to get any bites until sort of late on in the match, last hour, hour and a half. Few, we had a few fish fishing long pole on the bottom on maggots, and I've ended up with 14 carp, which has gone 50 pound, which was no good on the day. But again, it beat a few lads in the area around me, so I felt like I'd done okay from the area on the day but never had a chance of winning, I don't think. On the day, Tom Bainbridge actually won the match from, I think he was on about peg seven on Ash. So just a couple of pegs to the left of where I'm sat now. And he's at about 131 pound. I think he's caught fishing shallow and mugging. So massive well done to Tom. Awesome mate and good luck in the final. So the final match I wanna talk about is the match that I've actually fished today. It's at the Oaks and it was the open match on Ash, Beach and Sycamore, which are the new lakes. Brilliant turnout. I think there's been 54 of us fishing over the three lakes. So that's made it quite tight. It's been pegged sort of peg three, miss one, or peg two, miss one around the lakes, but still made for a good match. And I was really looking forward to it. After the day before, I felt like I'd learned a few bits. So I was hoping I was going to have a good day. Also, this match was filmed for our Match Winning Edges live match. So that should be coming out shortly where you'll see some more detailed sort of info of how I caught. But mainly how I've caught all day is fishing long pole on the bottom and fishing with lunching meat. What I felt like the day before was that although maggots were good, I've had to keep feeding too much bait to try and create anything to happen. Whereas I felt like with meat, at least I'd be able to tap a bit of bait in, sit and wait. And when I did get a bite, it'd be a proper fish hooked cleanly in the mouth. So that's what I've sort of done today. And it's worked re reasonably well, to be fair. I've had a nice day catching 31 carp long on the bottom. I had one F1 down the edge, but that never really happened and neither did the short line. And that's ended up, um, I've ended up weighing 99 pound, which has put me third overall in the match and managed to win this late. So really happy with that. Had a really nice day. On the day, Adam Richards managed to win with 130 pounds. So massive well done to Adam. Um, I know he's a good local on here and he does really well on here. So I think he'll have caught on meat as well. I think that's how he's been fishing. So if you're coming on the Oaks, I think you want to bring some meat with you. It seems to be a really good bait everywhere at the minute, where allowed. So a bit of an interesting week. The weather, considering it's the first sort of weekend in May, is still very cold. Like we've had a frost again this morning. So just knowing that you can't feed a lot of bait, you've got to take it nice and steady and that it might not always be solid, but you just got to try and get the best out of your pegs should help, you know, put you in good stead for the matches to come because it looks like it still is going to be cold for a good week or so now, but hopefully soon it will pick up. So I hope everyone's enjoyed this week's match winning blog. Later in the week, the live match from today will be coming out to be able to be viewed on the YouTube channel. So 
uh, don't forget to check that out. And if you're out later in the week, tight lines. And I'll see you again on another match winning blog.